Spanish. We'll see. Should be fine. Right now, it really is okay. Mm. Who knows with OBS, right? Huh? So, so, so. <clears throat> Welcome. Spiridon, you are back. Hello. Um, <laughs> today, we're gonna be doing um, another talk, I was thinking. Yeah, why not? Why not, eh? So, uh, I, I invited, and Spiridon uh, invited himself, and I thought we should um, discuss the new contest on Firestarter magazine. Yeah. And uh, like the general general idea about it. Yeah, I think that would, um, be, that would be good. Uh, let me just copy the link. Yeah, you, you might want to spam that a few times during the, uh, uh, our so. warm up. AZ Alin Atsuki, Concept Sam Sam, Sharta, and Eric 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 Eric. Hey guys. Yeah. So, uh, I just posted a link to the next contest that you can find on the forum, which is, uh, I just like happily discovered this morning and told Bjorn already that it is quite active, and uh, that makes me really happy. Uh, I mean, it's just more about uh, the different people posting on it, not about like the uh, amount, of, uh, amount of new threads or whatever. So, um, yeah, it's, I mean, for, for other people it might be not much or not, not, uh, not really relevant because it's still not many people, but I think that's really cool. So uh, we have this, this new uh, contest running. It's the second one. The first one just finished, and uh, Christian posted a video review, which you can check out in the YouTube, um, YouTube uh, channel of Firestarter. And uh, you can... You can um, uh, read through the description of the whole, uh, whole contest, which is um, uh, the topic is Desert Warriors. So I try to make it uh, to, to, to pick um, a topic that is interesting for environmental artists as much as for character artists. So you can either um, just, just make desert the topic and just go, you know, like with little uh, standard figures doing some war stuff there <laughs> or you can also uh, really concentrate on the character and make them uh, yeah desert-ish but but it doesn't matter if it's like uh, here in on earth in the sahara or whatever or if it's on another planet like uh, you know like june or go for it everything's mm. possible so it's free for uh, interpretation then uh, absolutely i'm always trying to to keep it like really really broad because this these are also the uh topics uh, that I like the most when I see a contest, you know, yeah. when, when people that just get the chance to wing it, like you do with your warm up right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's more fun. But the thing what I find always when you're trying to limit someone with like specific minute details is that you you force a, sp a very a specific way of thinking, which is always uh, hard. So when you have a, I found out that when you have a broad direction in in terms of like let's say like on um, uh, the two week challenges of saying okay now you're going to have to do perspective or or focus on edges and uh, and give a suggestion of of direction and then people can do whatever they want as long as they tick those boxes yeah uh, is always is always good. Hey, who wants to play Drink the Beer? Right here. Uh, you win. All right, what do I win? So, I yeah. Uh, the, oh, the, 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 hey, Jason. It is in there. It is in there. You, you can see when you have to post it. Mm. And uh, form it to be submitted, like, I mean, you post it in the, in the forum. So it's not important. What, what file or what size or whatever, not important. Go for it. Yeah, it's, uh, as, as, as far as I understand, it's... It's more or less like a two-week challenge, um, but it runs for a month, yeah. and uh, there's actual gifts at the end of it, where two-week challenge uh, is more of like a uh, challenge yourself and educate yourself kind of thing, like we grow together, 
so I, I pick my general idea of the two challenges that I pick a weakness I spot in a lot of people on the discord and then I, I try to set up a challenge where they have to you know be challenged yeah, yeah. And, and pursue it and uh, with these that you do these uh, what do you call the competitions just yeah just just monthly contests yeah th that's great that there's a gift gifts at the end of it I think that's very important yeah. and when you do a contest because otherwise I mean th there is a the challenge thing which is like more loose but um, yeah, I don't know like I don't know, I've seen so many contests that don't have that where it's just about the exposure aspect and uh, we talked about it I I want to get away from that pure exposure thing it's mm. not to pursue yeah Oh, many people. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Lots of people. Hello, everyone. I can't sit and call you all out <laughs> today. But yeah, so I, uh, I, I gracefully accepted to be a judge for this uh, Desert Warrior. Yeah, important detail I missed out. Jaren will destroy your images. <laughs> yeah, I will justify the winner for sure. I'll, I will do like Christian did, where he uh, went through all the entries and, and uh, gave feedback. And Yeah, I, I like that a lot. That was a great idea. I, I can't expect that from, from everybody, but yeah. I think uh, that, that this is something different. Um, I mean, it's also relevant for the YouTube channel, of course, but... Mm. Um, but but that way, other people that might have the same difficulties with their art can still use the feedback for their own stuff. So yeah. win win. Yeah, it's really good. That's the the general idea of the two week challenges I do as well is to oh yeah like okay. do um, I I spend a lunch after the deadline uh, the day after. Uh, you told me that yeah it's true. And uh, just sit and paint. And then talk about uh, as many entries as I can in an hour, and talk about like what the mistakes that they did. Yeah. At least, but that's from my point of view. You know, I'm mm -hmm. I'm no universal master of all things art related. <laughs> oh, I thought you were. Uh, well, then uh, then we we gotta quit, right? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you explain a bit about uh, what the prizes are, maybe? Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, let me, let me, uh, for those who don't want to click away from the, uh, you know. Yeah, we have, uh, we have a license of 3D code, um, one for Clip Studio Paint. Um, we have, uh, last time we had um, a copy of uh, the book Time, the, the last one, the second, mm. of Evan Mill Amundsen. Uh, and this time we have the book uh, Selah by uh, Farash Shania. And uh, we are still working on it. Uh, I mean, it's a pre-order phase now. The book is finished, mm. and um, that means that in like, like I think two months, um, or in, in one month from now, or in two months, uh, the book should be shipped out. But uh, you can already win one. Um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna also send you a copy of Firestarter three and four, and gonna feature your work on. Um, social media, which means Facebook and Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's that's what we can do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Especially the fact that you are, um, that you're releasing that magazine for free uh, at uh, workshops and so on. Yeah. So that's a lot of, uh, because at workshops, there's like a concentration of people of uh, quite higher calibers, you know, because there's lecturers there, there's professionals there that want to improve their game. And if you plop a magazine full of art in it, they will definitely, uh, you know, look through it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure where, where you are heading right now. I mean, uh, the, the artwork won't be in the magazine. People will get the magazine. No, but I mean, uh, in general, like the Firestarter uh, magazine. Oh, you mean just like about the topic of the magazine? Yeah. 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 Yeah, talking about it, 
But I mean, um, uh, I'm assuming you won't you also feature the contest winner? On, on in, in the ma magazine or what do you mean? Yeah. I haven't thought about it. I should do that probably, right? I mean, if it's um, sponsored by um, companies that sponsor Firestarter, it might be a good idea. Double exposure. Yeah, it, this this only works in terms of uh, if, if the stuff is made in that program, then it is relevant. You know, if people would use hmm. 3D code or if they would use the um, uh, Clip Studio Paint and stuff, then it would be relevant for the sponsors. But no matter what, it's not a not a bad idea to generally feature the contest and have some examples in there. Um, yeah, like you know, that is mostly an issue is that uh, it needs to have a certain amount of space. The magazine is already. I'm actually trying to trim down the amount of pages that I have mm. because of 100, 184 pages. Um, people actually complain that it is too heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good complaint to have. You're right. I mean, like, like, yeah. Here's the bottle of vodka. Oh, can you drink half of it? It's too heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All these free hamburgers. What should I do with them? <laughs> so hard. So much hard work. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, and you mentioned that you're really happy that uh, um, the forums are being more active, and I must say I, I am as well. It's, even though it's not like staggering numbers, uh, but more and more people are actually uh, putting effort into it. Which is yeah, there is a tendency visible. This is what I mean. I mean, like, yeah. like, like the stuff is happening. Um, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, and. Uh, <clears throat> It's it's great that you like you mentioned that there is this portfolio function on the profile yeah. of, of a user on the forum. Um, it's all down to this is I'm kind of jumping a little bit sideways, um, but the idea of like a community is that what I loved about uh, concept art co uh, forum after a while when you've been there. <laughs> Is that you? You start familiarize yourself with the avatar or the screen name, and the the the, the person that's behind the nickname on the forum. Yeah. Uh, which is you know it's I love that aspect of of it's like w having a friend that you have never met, and you yes. and you look uh, deeply into their sketchbook and and <laughs> you know it's just really weird. Although I'm not a fan of the, the nicknames, hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not a big fan of that because sometimes for me it's it's hard to to keep track of all these people. Yeah, uh, especially when you you hand out stuff that is, um, that is uh, given away with with the contest and stuff, and then you try to just have a look at who it is, and then their email address is uh, rapitapapita at uh, gmail and. Uh, their name is uh, sausage sausage party or something. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, who the hell are you? And then he's like, uh, someone is like, yeah, dude, we we know each other for two years. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a really good point. Like I've 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 talked about it before, uh, but uh, a guy I knew, uh, Dave, I think his name is Dave Mathis. Uh, yeah. His nickname of, for the longest longest of time was um, poop in my mouth. <laughs> and and it was his uh, portfolio URL, poopinmymouth.com. Uh, <laughs> now, don't type that. I don't know if he still, still owns the URL, so be wary of typing that URL in. But uh, imagine being a client, and yeah. uh, you go like, oh yeah, we hired poop in my mouth. And he's going to do some concept art. It's like, what the? F <laughs> it's, it's, it's like back in the day, you know, when people were playing Counter-Strike and someone, you know, came online and his name was, was Bratwurst. Yeah. And then he knew this, this guy either sucks or is like a total killer. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> you, yeah, you got to back that nickname up or just be a troll. There's no thing in between, you know, like yeah. no, no, no middle way. Either you suck or you're, you're a god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's so funny. I mean, I, I met him and uh, we laughed about it, and uh, it was hilarious. I mean, how, 
how I mean he, he his balls must be the size of like melons if he can have poop in my mouth dot com as a yeah. <laughs> portfolio yeah, yeah. website. Or, That's cool. Yeah, it's crazy, and I, I find it so funny. Like in in terms of nicknames, everyone is like, oh, like um, uh, who wrote Concept Sam uh, wrote that Dave Raposa was nickname was Mister Delicious. Yeah. Yeah, which is I'm sorry. Yeah. And I mean like <clears throat> that's one in a way that's why I migrated away from continuing my brand of Hurricane which was like what I was known at at, mm. at concept art because I I just stuck with it, right? Uh, but then and after was, was cursive back then. <laughs> cursive. <laughs> yeah, I think I think personally, the nickname era uh, starting to fade. I'm happy it does. Hmm. You know, it's like um, I think nicknames give you a kind of a weird sense of anon anonym. What is the word? Anonymity. Mm. Is it right? Did I say it right? I'm not. Yeah, anonymity. Yeah. 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 So it's unnecessary because what you want is recognition. Yeah. Yeah, and you also distance yourself a bit. Like they don't want to. It's like you don't want to be um, approached by anything. You just want to use this alias that is l dislocated from any uh, like real tangible person. Yeah, that's yeah. that's how I go about it. At least like, who, who, why would you like to? Why would you like to hire like kick ass? Guy fifty nine, was like your first. Poop in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, or poop in my mouth. Who are we going going to use? Are we are we going to hire kick ass guy sixty four, or are we going to hire poop in my mouth? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that meeting, you kind of want to be a fly in the wall at and go like, what the? <laughs> what? Are but you but Sam is pointing it out. Christian's name was wasn't his sick brush, and he's still using it. But the thing is. I think for for freelancer it should be relevant to not have a nickname. Yeah, but also Sickbrush has made it into a logo. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's like um, um, the polycount, a uh, green smile, whatever his whatever they call it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, the name escapes me. What what it's called? Um, it's called something specific. You know what I'm? Do you know what I mean? On uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it's, and Joe Mad, yeah, exactly. I mean, you're you're saying like, oh, now you're gonna have fifty Bjorns when they're not using nickname. I mean, that's true. Also, I mean, nickname can serve a purpose, uh, for sure. Um, Sparth, uh, you most people don't know his real name compared to. His... What, what is what, what's the first name? Yeah, I don't know. It's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm asking the guy with the names. I'm horrible <laughs> with names, so it's like. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it's true. If you if you succeed with that, with turning your name into a brand, of course, uh, this 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 brings also a certain kind of success and gives you freedom in terms of logo creation and stickers and all that. Yeah. But. Uh, it's not often that this really works, you know, like if this really happens. Um, sometimes you have a name like mine, which 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 doesn't make sense anywhere. <laughs> and I was thinking a lot if I should just continue going with this, this name cursive. Um, but uh, eventually I figured out that, that this, this name with this name that is very complicated to everyone but Greek people, uh, or Russian people mm. is something that uh, people recognize me with, so I, I just went with it. Yeah, exactly. It stands out. So I think if you have a name that isn't Hans Müller or uh, John Smith or something, you should totally use your own name for everything. Yeah, yeah, John Smith. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. But um. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Like Eric Eriki says, like I am horrible with names, but I remember poop in my mouth for years. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's true, yeah. No, it's true. It's, I mean, you know, it's... Right. What do I win? I don't that no, I'm going for the house. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Tim Rimmers, for the host. Much appreciated. But yeah, it's uh, it's tricky. Like, you, you gotta think, uh, like, in an intelligent way of what's the um, what's the use of the nickname. Mm. It's it is a little bit odd to go like, oh, I'm going to be known for a nickname now, and then you start building your online persona based on a nickname. Uh, but it's also useful um, if you want to if you need to distance yourself from uh, what you're doing, like, uh, let's say, uh, female models um, who are, uh, you know, prone prone to stalking, you know, mm. they might want to distance themselves from their actual persona and name in order for for them to be safe, you know. So that the per per the professional persona is a person that they is being hired and being shown publicly versus their, you know, themselves. Yeah. Which I mean, I, I can understand also why you use um, a nickname that way. That uh, that as an artist, you can you can assume some sort of mystery or assume. Uh, something that's completely tailored um, for exposure only, you know, like, let's say I, I make the name Mr. Concept Art, you know, if you remember. I thought about him too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and no one knew who that was. No, so who is it? Do we know now? I just said that's me. I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, it's not me. But uh, that guy could, you know, shit on our whole industry. And, and, and get traffic and become something that's interesting, you know, uh, purely by being anonymous and creating this fictitious and entity, right? And I people, a bunch of people who hate him. Who hate him? Yeah, who are like, you, oh, what he's doing is just, just, just stupid and it's not how it works and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but they're just salty. Yeah, no humor. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Bila, how's it going? Mm. Yeah. So for uh, let's say for Firestarter, uh, and you create your user profile, would you uh, moderate the user profiles? No. Um, I mean, of course, things can be. Uh, we're working on that now that it can be uh, reported. Mm. Kind of count on that. Um, this, this early stage of the whole thing. But, um, of course, images that are uploaded have to be uh, looked into because uh, for obvious reasons. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. But at this stage, I mean, it's so early. We just, just kind of think that, I mean, I would think that uh, people don't suck as much as others would expect. So... Mm. Don't upload porn, please. Yeah, no, no I mean more uh, in terms of someone calling themselves uh, Concept Art Guy Fifty Seven. Oh, you mean that we tell them to change their name? Mm. No. No, but some uh, like let's say like Facebook, they they are gonna stop nicknames from being. Oh yeah, no, Facebook. It's more about more about. Uh, uh, you know, the, the privacy rules and everything that is, has come up now. I, I don't have the right to tell people to give me this name. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, yeah. I'm just, you know, we talked about um, the ability to hide bis, bis, uh, behind a alias, right? Yeah, yeah, they can do that. I mean, I'm not telling people to, to stop that. I would, I'm just saying I would appreciate it, but don't. Yeah, of course. I mean, but also... It, it doesn't really matter to me, uh, but for me, like using that's why I don't use a nickname anymore is because I feel like I'm distancing myself to huh. to the other person on the other side of the computer, you know. But you know, it's free to 
everyone is free to do that as well. If they yeah, yeah, sure. No, no, they they can they can go with nicknames. No problem. I I'm thinking about making an additional uh, optional thing where you, people can enter their na their name. So and can turn it visible instead of the nickname, you know, like I think some platforms have that. So it's oh, optional. Right. So it's like Bjorn, Hurricane, Hurry. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but this is also funny. I was thinking now on, on Twitch, there are people not using their name and they're using their Twitch handle and, uh, you know, like a voodoo breakfast. Mm -hmm. Which is an which is an interesting thing as well. Like the, it comes from gaming, I think, mostly because of Twitch. You know, you don't want to uh, like shit post on some some person's um, stream how shitty they are uh, at playing the game using your own name. Well, mm -hmm. I can see that generally, uh, people might think that, but and it's also it's like you might not want to be. Uh, like Joe Biden, uh, while while shooting people in the face in a game, you might want to be like Silent Hunter, XXX or something, <laughs> you know, <laughs> something cooler. I mean, with 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 internet culture starting out and everything, um, there were some really cringy nicknames, and maybe we should save people from reading them. You know what I mean? Hmm. Don't be a crow wizard 666. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, like you might need to introduce yourself to someone at some point uh, if you use a nickname. Yeah. Uh, and you got to kind of have a good nickname then. Like uh, when Poop in My Mouth introduced himself. I met him at the workshop many years ago. Yeah. And it was it was so funny every time, but he loved it. He did it for for shits and giggles, you know. Uh -huh. He he fully purposely uh, named himself um, himself that. But it's like it's the same. Like it's the it's I think it's a generational thing uh, because a lot of really famous artists who are famous now. They started out at the time where nicknames were like the trend, you know. Yeah, and chat rooms. I mean, yeah. that's that was basic stuff happening back then. Yeah, like uh, you don't probably don't know because you're not uh, like a full full fledged concept artist and uh, mad person like most of us are. But uh, there was a guy in 3D called uh, Bobo the Seal. Uh, he was like. He was really huge in 3D on Polycount and so on, and, uh -huh. and uh, Bobo the Seal. Well, that was like his brand that he still uses today, even though it was many many years ago. And um, he even hid his name in the texture sheets. If you know in 3D, when you do a 3D, you, you have to like skin the model and put all the everything out flat, and then you paint on the skin and then put it back yeah. on. So yeah. in the gaps in between the flaps, he wrote his name always, like Bobo the Seal. And uh -huh. that became like his uh, telltale sign. If you ever found a game asset, and then uh, if you like modded a game or something that he had worked on, and you pulled up the player character texture, you, you, you could find his yeah, you cool. could find his little like Banksy tag in there and uh, for the longest time no one knew really who Bobo the seal was they only know knew the, oh, yeah, like the brand so he had set up his portfolio as a, a shop stop mm -hmm. so people came and approached him through the website and for work, so they hired Bobo the seal, in a sense, rather than the the person, you know, mm -hmm. which was which was an interesting thing that you you did back then. You know. Super clever, in my opinion. Yeah, it turned out quite interesting. 
And now he uh, he's some senior person somewhere. I don't think he freelances anymore, but he still has the stuff online, I think. But yeah, I'm, um, by the way, I'm going to also start a sketchbook cool. on, um, on the forum. Because, because you don't have anything to do, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you need more work. No, but um, I talked about it yesterday, I think, on the stream. Huh? I think it was yesterday. But uh, I, I mentioned that you, I don't put those sketches anywhere. Uh, the warm-ups I put up because it's the part of the process of doing the warm-ups, right? That they belong to the warm-ups things. Yeah. But then I also do a lot of sketches that I never post because it's personal ideas. I thought like, what what if I do this? Or what if I... What if, yeah, like what if I mimic this artist? And I, I just kind of test stuff out. Those things I never post because they're not, not finished. So they don't go on any portfolio site uh, and I can't post them as a 30 minute warm up because they're not. Uh, I have lots of those kind of sketches. Mm -hmm. So I thought, ah, I should, I should make a sketchbook. You're not the only one not doing that because um, I've, I've heard many artists tell me that and I don't get it. Mm. No, because um, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm always suggesting that people should should um, get a chance to look at uh, at sketches that are, for example, also not the best, so they feel more comfortable in not making the perfect sketchbook with no flaws at all. You know? Yeah. It is. It is, it is the reason why people start with the first page, uh, try to do the second one, and just are too intimidated to go on and throw away the whole sketchbook. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Yeah, really. Because they, they they don't treat the sketchbook as what it's intended to be. It's, yeah. it's like for me, a sketchbook is not meant to be like a <laughs> fully realized body of work at the best of your ability. Like a sketchbook should be experiments and tests and fail. It should be, but it also can be the other thing. You know, there are, are sketchbooks that really look just magnificent because they're like a whole like compound of art. And it, they even look like great outside of everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with like making a beautiful sketchbook. Yeah, but, but like you said, um, sketchbooks should be treated really bad, yeah. so you're comfortable with it. Yeah. Exactly. So that's that's what I I'll, I'll do I'll, uh, when I have. What time's up? Time's up. Oh man, almost. But ten seconds. Oh yeah. Something like that flew by again i'm gonna show you guys this for a second mm -hmm. you arrived yeah. oh the new fight starter magazine so thick. wow that is thick that is like a that's like a book that's not a magazine right <laughs> you have to rebrand firestarter book yeah community book mm-hmm Okay, so by the way, everyone, I painted a topic based on uh, Spiridon's suggestion, which was Medusa. You asked. Exactly. <clears throat> so um, let's see if we can't. Um, who's, uh, who's doing stuff? It's great time. All right, she's been uh, this one artist. She's been doing masks for a very long time in clay. So let's uh, raid her. Um, uh, how annoying! Anyways, so we're gonna raid her. Visual Jamie. She's a cool streamer. Uh, does all sorts of different art. Um, thank you, Spiridon, for yet another fantastic talk. Anytime. And uh, go do go and uh, do that the competition because you get the uh, swag. And uh, yeah. Spiridon, post that link again, quick, 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 quick. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah! 
Anyways, go to Firestarter Forum. No, no, yeah, I copy the wrong thing. <laughs> Bye. I'll try again.